Welcome back <laughs> to the Get to Know Saquon. Who inspires you? Two people I would have to pick is Barry Sanders and Kobe Bryant. Barry Sanders, obviously, phenomenal talent. Um, Love the way he carried himself, uh, how he was a team guy, and Kobe with the mom mentality, his mindset, uh, how he attacks every single day. Um, I guess you could say I kind of take those two um, and you know their methods and the way that they work and try to apply it to my life. If you could only listen to one artist for the rest of your life, who would it be? Uh, that's easy for me. Uh, Miles would be Drake. A uh, big fan of Drake. Uh, you know, he's he can do it all, rap, sing, and I love his style, I love his vibe. So Drake would be mine. Welcome back, SGO fam, the New York Giants online franchise we build. Took a L last week. Um, even though it was an exciting game versus the Falcons this week. We are versus the Rams 0-9. Um, and let's see what X Factor uh, coming in here. Don't have any dev stories, of course. The, taking a big loss that we didn't. I mean, Daniel Jones threw for a ton of yards, but uh, unfortunately, there's no quarterback dev stories, which is interesting. Uh, for Madden, the most important position on the field does not have dev stories. Kind of had to get that through Pro Pro Bowl in the season. Uh, let's take a speaking of some Pro Bowl in the season. Let's take a quick look at uh, the stats and you know where are things going this year for their awards Let's see a weekly award uh Edo smith just ran him basically all over us there got the award for that josh rosen and cookie boy doing his thing uh taylor mole had a great day on defense steve and and bosa aka dt bosa has been running rap shot over league pretty much had I mean, he's 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 gonna, he might win MVP. Um, and the Chargers, I think they've won like five straight. They had a rough start to the season, but they have won like five straight, led by DT Boza and Melvin Gordon. They are just killing it right now. Um, I mean, that look at that division: Chargers, Broncos, uh, Daniel Jones up there in, in the mix a little bit. Uh, Saquon hasn't been getting a ton of carries this year. Uh, Mo nine and zero. Won it last year. Looks like he's in, you know, pretty much the line to do it again this year. But a ton of great coaches in the league. Uh, all <laughs> Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby might win it. Uh, coaching from this, from the cell, from his cell there. Uh, AFC, you know, they're kind of doing their thing over there. Let's let's keep, we'll keep it in FC. Edo Smith with that big game, projected him all up there, offensive of player of the year. We're just trying to get Daniel Jones in the mix, man. You know, we, we're trying to get his his dev up. He needs to finish up. Uh, LC Lorenzo Carter hasn't had a really outstanding year. The move to the 4-3 has not worked out how we thought it was. We thought we were getting all our pass rushers and guys on the field, get after the quarterback would be something big. And it's, you know, hasn't been great. And, you know, maybe that's to the uh, secondary. Uh, the safety's been good. The corners have been not so good. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We're still getting some wins here and there. And, uh all we can do is best. Look at Daniel Jones Dimes, number one quarterback right now. Uh, I think he's second in the league in passing yards. We're, we're, we want to keep him right here. We want to keep him right here. That's going to be the focal point of this season. Barkley's in the, in the mix there. Typically, we don't, we haven't had any great wide receiver playing, but Taewon Taylor, Darius Slayton. They have been the big play guys that we, we nearly need. And now we're actually getting our boy back. I don't know why we never get any love from the linemen at all. Um, but now we're actually getting our boy back. Ingram is coming back this week from injury. So definitely that's going to be big. Uh, let's check out the quick injury stats. I mean, you know, highlights from the game this week is going to be pretty short. I'm sure the game's probably not going to be... Uh, Highly contested there. So, you know, talk a little bit with you guys and shoot the ish. Let's take a look at the quick injury report. And then, because uh, I know we have Love is out. So, Ingram, actually one more week. Wow, I thought he's back this week. Because he could have played through injury last week. So, I thought this week he'd be back. But uh, one more week and Love is out three weeks which sucks he was just playing great he just got his superstar ability he used it he actually used it in the game acrobat he had a diving swat into an interception swatted it right to and got picked off 
um, in a big play, and then he got injured like the next series. So, um, big loss there. Uh, two of my better players uh, being out. Uh, hopefully Ingram comes back, and I think that pass attack is gonna be nice. When we get, you know, we have we have some speed out there now. I ever see? We got some playmakers. You know, they they still need some work, but you know, Daniel Daniel Jones up there with Taylor Slayton, and then when Ingram comes back. If you didn't watch, make sure you check out the episode. Slayton got his superstar abilities there with uh, post flag elite, flag elite, and double move elite there. Um, you know, he seemed been a great pickup. And we also just got one with Jefferson last week. So even in the loss, there was some victory there with Jefferson. We need to get him up to 80 overall as soon as possible so we can unlock that next one. And uh, you know, we just got him, and got him already. So you know, got some good young, athletic players on both sides of the ball that we're just, just working on. And um, and good thing we picked up uh, KZ because he's a good backup when since Love is out. So that is it. Let's get right into this week's matchup versus the Rams. Hopping right into the action versus the winless Rams. Starting right off, they're starting on the ground game where Henderson Jr. almost breaking it. Big one, but able to take him down. But he does get a first down, and he is rumbling and smashing through the defense, which is still reeling from last week. And uh, they've been on their heels a couple of weeks, taking a couple of L's lately. But this is the week that we're trying to bounce back, and as Haley steps in front of a pass, Makes a man miss. Got one man to beat Haley swerving and makes him miss. And can Cooks run him down from behind? And he misses. Haley goes in for the long pick six for a touchdown on the play. Rams defense not known for the tackling. The offense definitely not known for the tackling. First and 10 throws it up. And Jenkins comes down with it. Intercepted the veteran. Free safety makes a man miss. And goes down at the 27-yard line. Back over to the office. And Daniel Jones getting everyone lined up. Dropping back. Throwing the perk is the backup tight end. An absolute dagger on that play. Right in between coverage for a first down. We're up 14-0 early on. Nice pass there by Golf to his tight end. For first on that one. Rams trying to answer two early scores by us. And he's moving the ball down the field. Woods, they have some decent receivers. You know, the Rams uh, led by Todd Gurley, but he's often injured, so they have to rely on that passing game, and that is going to be tough. We know LC and Henderson is out as well. So they're the third string running back at this point. Third and 18, pressure is coming, and golf goes down. Dexter Lawrence with the sack. We take over, still the first quarter, dropping back, surveying the field, throws underneath to Doyle, the free agent signing in the offseason, who lost his starting position, but he still has contributed to the team, blocking and being a backup tight end. Off to Saquon Barkley, breaks the tackle, carries two, three guys just short of a first down. First and goal here, Jones lining up from the four yard line. Dropping back, surveying the field, rolling out. Great passing catch there on that one. Nice play by Daniel Jones using his legs to buy time. CJ Procise in the game. Second and one, Rams dropping back, looking deep. Oh, nice catch by Woods. Looks like had Jenkins right there but could not make the play. Third and nine, Rams trying to get on the board, trying to get their first score today, or at least get three points out of this. Goff is back over the middle and caught. Peppers closed in, but is able to come down with that one and pick it off. Goff out of the tight formation, and McKissick is just stopped short. Brings up a fourth and one out of the big set. Golf up the middle and he stopped short. Big play by Jefferson on that one. Single back toss out to Saquon Barkley. Saquon makes a man miss. One man to beat Saquon Barkley. When you hear one man to beat, you already know it's over. Barkley to the house and he's 
just misses him. Goes in for the long touchdown run, and all you can do is applaud. Great run by Saquon Barkley. Puts us up 28 to 0. And look at that run, D. Just flying to the ball after getting absolutely gashed last week versus the Falcons. They've definitely come to play today. Third and 12, and nice hit by Baker on that play. Jarring the ball loose and back to Saquon Barkley on the offense. Makes everyone miss on that one. Saquon down the sideline for another touchdown. He's having an all-pro day today. Saquon Barkley. I mean, you know, you already know what Saquon doing, how we do. But McKissick is saying, hey, we can get in the game, get this running game going. It's not even halftime yet. 35 to 0. Someone's got to make a play for the Rams. But it's not going to be today. As that is intercepted by Jefferson off the deflection. And back to our offense again. And look at Daniel Jones go, making guys miss. Not known for his option ability, but looking like uh, looking like a Mike Vick, Lamar Jackson on that one on the read option. Second and 10, throwing it deep, and it's dropped. McKissick, the running back, could not hold on to that one. And that was an absolutely brutal first half for the Rams. And we're kind of seeing... Why they're winless? 42 to nothing. We're up, and uh, it hasn't been a close contest at all. They, you know, really haven't really got down there um, to really get any points at all on this one. But uh, you know, we're just gonna hand the ball off. Wayne Gallman up the middle, and Gallman breaks loose. The backup running back, Wayne Gallman, getting into the action, and he scores. Big run right up the middle. Off is fired on all cylinders, 49-0. Defense pretty much doing the same. Oh, and a big hit there by Peppers. Lays the wood, picks it up, goes in for the... <laughs> that is the absolute trifecta there. The hit, the scoop, and the score by Jabril Peppers. Pretty much our best guy in the secondary there. Just laid the wood, playing on that corner. You know he moving around a lot, having that safety, having that corner. Some sub linebacker, and he's that corner there delivering a massive blow on that hit, taking it in 56 to 0. And this is just a, a brutal contest here. Rams just trying to get on the board, and good run here by McKissick. Casey took a really bad angle on that one, but takes him down at the 21 yard line. Starting off the 17 here, they're in the I form close. Handoff on the power, and he's dropped for a short gain on third and five they run it play it safe looks like they're just trying to get some points on the board you, you don't you don't want to get shut out so they get three the worst some reason 56 to 0 56 to 3 it just sounds so much better you, you got to get some kind of points on the board and that is it we got the backup qb brian in the game to take the last knee down for that one and that is it really uh dominant performance especially on the ground 300 yards rushing four takeaways and the Rams remain winless. Daniel Jones, not a big day passing as far as yardage, but had a perfect quarterback rating, two touchdowns. After throwing a ton of interceptions last week, we definitely need this bounce back game. Kizik, ton of carries, not a ton to show for it. Of, you know, see Saquon Barkley and Wayne Gallman both had career days there. Taewon Taylor and a receiving core didn't really have to do much. I mean, the game was over pretty quickly just on you know defense with all the return uh you know fumble return interception returns and all that so it was a really uh rough outing for the for the for the rams there jefferson 16 total tackles one interception oh my goodness just got his superstar upgrade this week and you can see already the difference it makes having a superstar player i mean he just a dominant game I mean, that might be one of the uh highest to total tackles we've seen so far in the series uh, and then we got dexter lawrence did a great job as well total total team defensive effort there holding the rams to three points on that one so a really fun contest uh let's see what we got from that what kind of upgrades we got there upgrades to the coach and let's see hernandez baker and mcintosh 67 overall defensive tackle keep working on him uh pass rushing so you always want to do is you know try to get guys lined up um you know with the right scheme fit so you always want to
keep your scheme fit and uh sometimes you want to work on other things like johnny baker needs zone coverage got a plus two zone coverage there bringing him up to a 76 going to keep working on that as well as his play rec will hernandez our young right guard who just uh i mean i think he's one of the best young offensive linemen in the game uh upgrade there as well so that's it hope you guys enjoyed the episode make sure you tune in for more new york giants franchise here at sgo this is the natural and i'm out Hey Giants fans, Jabril Peppers here. Want to be the first to see Giants videos? Subscribe now.